So for Shannon and I, while we have this really deep romantic relationship, she and I have been looking for things that we can do together. In the out of doors, something adventurous. And we found mountain biking. And it's great. We're really bad at it. I feel like I'm just learning how to uh, switch gears. How to use gears. <laughs> when we talk about our strengths and weaknesses, I think that there's a lot we're going to learn about each other, to be perfectly honest. And I'm really excited about it. And a little bit terrified. When Shannon and I first met, she was playing Ultimate Frisbee for Seattle Riot. She's like two-time world champion, which in the world of Ultimate Frisbee, it's a big deal. So Graham is a professional alpine climber. He really spends a lot of time climbing, running hills. He's definitely an endurance athlete, which is the opposite of my background which makes it kind of hard to play well together in those sports. So I started trying to figure out other sports that we were more on an even playing field with. Oh <laughs> I decided to start mountain biking and we started to realize that this was something that we really enjoyed doing together. We're complete babes in the woods. <laughs> I have no idea how to do Look at her. Man, bang, babe. There's like too much padding up here. Give a bigger. Thanks, sweetie. Really, what it comes down to is the fact that we both totally suck. It's a comedy of errors. <laughs> Bend is very much a biking town, so it was pretty embarrassing to be such beginners. Do I have my glasses on right in my helmet? Yeah. Do I look like a biker? You look great. Yeah, Graham! Woo! Uh, uh. Yeah! <laughs> the exciting news today is that we have new pedals. Um, it's been really fun engaging that learning curve together and slowly getting better at the same time. Pre-work biking session. You know, having something that we do together in the out of doors, something adventurous, is gonna be a massive thing for us to learn about each other and add a whole new exciting building block to our relationship. So we knew we wanted to find a place where we could put our new sport into action together. Last summer, Graham and I drove through the Owyhee Canyonlands and we were totally blown away with the beauty and remoteness of the region. Soaring cliffs, big rivers, there's a majesty out here. It's truly wilderness and it's truly beautiful. So we started planning and pulled together this trip to go take bikes out there, put a bunch of stuff on them, and go, go explore. We really wanted the adventure aspect to our first bikepacking trip. Started zooming in on Google Earth and really trying to find a route that made sense. Animal trails or local roads. So that's how we found our route. And it's gonna take us, we think, about five to seven days. Kind of worried about water. We're going to the desert. Food, tire punctures, spokes broken, chain break, shifting cable breakage, digestive issues. There might be some rattlesnakes. Is there anything else that I should be afraid of? That's a great looking list you have there, Shannon. You guys think it's going to test your relationship? I think it already has. <laughs> <laughs> I know Graham and Shannon to be climbers, intellectuals, gracious people, but not cyclists. I think some bike wheels are going to get thrown. I want to say I hope it's going to be good, and I do hope it's going to be good, but mostly I just look forward to seeing how it goes. <laughs>
it might be just a really bad idea for us to go on this trip. But it could be really sweet. And I think we're just gonna have to find out. The reason I'm most excited to go with Shannon is I think that there's a lot we're gonna learn about each other. <laughs> Morning, Muffin. Morning. <laughs> Here we are. We're just kinda in the middle of nowhere. It's great. You psyched? I'm really excited. Well, there we go. Hey, the girlfriend. <laughs> we started out the trip and the weather was gorgeous. Literally whooping for joy as we rode around. Me and Lee fighting machines. About as fun as bike packing could possibly be. I just really enjoy uh, the feeling from the seat of a bicycle. It feels like flying. Being able to get from point A to point B through the wilderness using my body and the tools I can carry with me. So that was yesterday. Today, we woke up and it was raining. We're both from the Pacific Northwest. You can deal with some rain. Let's get out there and get going. Well, time to go get involved. There's not a shred of blue in the sky. Graham thought he needed to overcompensate for that. So he wore all blue today. See how the riding goes today. Got all of our stuff into waterproof bags, and I think we probably biked for about 45 minutes before we hit the first patch of thick mud. It just gets worse. The bikes are just totally caked in mud. Which made for some really slow biking. I was feeling miserable and cold and really just in survival mode. And then it started a thunderstorm. So that weather over there is coming at us and it feels like crap. Not something that you want to run into, moving slowly along a ridge line carrying a giant piece of metal. It's totally heinous. I think my chain's off. Eventually, we just dragged the bikes down into this canyon. And we ended up finding a cave that was big enough to actually pitch our tent in. I'm really glad that Graham's survival skills uh, kicked into action. We were able to set up the tent, get some of our stuff dried out, just kind of recoup. We've zipped our sleeping bags together. It's a good sign that we're getting along well. You know, the advice coming down here during this time of year was like, it's gonna be amazing. It only problem is it might be too hot and there might not be any water. And now we're like, there's so much water. There is water, in fact. The air is full of it. The air is full of water. And the following morning, the big pulse of rain had passed and just continued on. Uh, we might even have to wear sunscreen today. The rain had stopped and the ground had started to dry. And it just kind of washed away all the stuff we had been dealing with. Ah! Dude, uh, I don't know. We might actually kind of be having fun right now. We're pumped. We've been fighting through the storm, through all this mud, and we were really rewarded by a super pretty remote zone that not many people get to. And that really just explains why we came out here in the first place. All the stuff I pictured finally kind of came to fruition. It was perfect. We've only got a couple more days, and now we're right in the thick of it, deep in the gorges of the Owyhee, and it's stunning.
despite all the shenanigans we've been dealing with, I'm feeling really grateful that, that we get to spend time out here. Cruising along, working hard on the bike, seeing gorgeous vistas. Both incredible geographic features and incredible plant and animal life. Just us with the bird song, the babbling brooks. Pretty special. Makes me happy. I mean, this is really the reason that we came. We've watched each other train and prepare for really intense situations. The world championships in Frisbee or big climbs in Alaska or Pakistan. And on this trip, you know, we prepared together and we went and did it together. We definitely learned a lot more about each other on this trip and how we work best together, learning how to form a better relationship we got along really well. I mean, not all the time, but generally speaking, we really got to experience how each other deal with challenge. Things get kind of hairy, like, we'll figure it out. We did yeah. it, and it felt good. It did feel good. Thanks to you, Buttercup. Boom. Yeah. <laughs>